Okay, guys, Big Rich here from Ohio Fish Rescue, and uh, we got something really nice planned for you today. You can enjoy this video. But I wanted to show you this, that we started putting our uh, angels from in the back up to here. So we're going to have this as an all-angel tank. Um, we, we deciphered many, many different ways to make this tank. We ended up on it's going to be an angel tank. So that's how it goes. Stick with us and, and watch what we got coming. This is where we got rid of all that blackbeard algae and the plants are starting to start you know growing and stuff and i don't see no more blackbeard algae there's one of the angels we got in there there's another one i don't see no more blackbeard algae tank is looking good <coughs> so much better once they start filling out more this is a plant right here that people somebody i think it was reaper or josh just put in there we got to actually bury that but, you know, once the plants start spreading out more, it'll start looking just like it was and with no blackbeard algae. We just need like 10 or 12 more angels in there. All right, now we can go down. We're going to check on Skylar's beta room. She's down there working. I'm going to show you. Ouch. Okay. Now we're down here. She got this plastic up to keep the heat in. But she's got a surprise visitor today. This is her beta room. Look who it is. There's Skylar and her dad. Hi, Dad. Hello. <laughs> um, what you doing, Skylar? I'm trying to find a shark here right now. Um, we're about to test out my tanks. Okay. Like what water changes need to be done. You wanna you wanna show what you got today and your new thing? Oh yeah. Oh That's yeah. Good. She got all excited. <laughs> My dad got overly excited, so the P traps in. Oh, okay. <laughs> it fits too. It fits the well, same. Well, that—that's the the drain. The P trap is the part that's yeah, shaped it, like a P in the it, white well, it plastic. It's perfect. We got that in, but I got to say, my good friend Dave gave it to me for free. Yeah, Dave. Warner. Dave Warner gave it to you. And, and that was brand new. He bought it, and uh, uh, they sent him two. So he went to return one, and they said just keep it, and they gave him his money back for the second one. So he, he gave it to Skylar, and now that's going to be a, a nice little sink. That's going to be turned on its side right there, and she's going to have a drain, a sink, and everything else hooked up to it. And out of the bottom, we're going to have a little piece of PVC, like a 2-inch, coming to like a widening of a 4-inch, so that she can drain all of her tanks right into the funnel at the bottom of this. So that's going to be turned right in there. So it's going to make your life a lot yeah, easier. Well, I, I had a plan, too. So you know how I like... We need something to drain on the bottom. I figured on the bottom here, uh -huh. there's like a two inch gap or a two inch thing below it. So we could find something, you know, just metal, let's put a hole in there and I could just do that for my uh, bottom tanks that I need done. Gotcha. So I'll get that installed for you in the next day or two or three. And uh, you won't have to carry buckets from upstairs to downstairs no more. Oh, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> Does that make you smile? Yeah. People, I can wash my hands after touching a bunch of chemicals. Yeah. That's gonna be nice too. What do you got going on over here? Two of the babies. No, no, the, the bigger tanks. Oh, all the females are in here. All the females are in there. Yeah. Okay. And, and the bottom it. tank, you're not using it. It's um, cycling right now. Gotcha, gotcha. Once okay. this one's done, once this tank's um, a little bit better, that's where Nike's going. Okay. And then I'm getting rid of this. I don't like it down here. Okay. And all the babies are up here. Mm-hmm. Here's one of my baby males. He got really, really pretty. Oh. <gasps> I just knocked over the heater. Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's beautiful. Let the heater go. So that's one that I bred. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's one that you bred. And what's this one here? That's just one of my other females. So this is one of your babies that you bred. Look yeah. how pretty and colorful. He came out gorgeous. Yeah, he did. And his fins are just going to get longer. People should just be lining up to get your babies. And you oh, got a bunch pretty. more going on down here. Yeah, I'm still trying to get their tanks right because they require... But the tanks look really dirty, but they're not. I use MD almond leaves because their pH has to be a lot lower than regular beta. And they're a lot more, I don't know, temperamental. So I'm trying to get their tanks right still. I, I'm on the right track, but... Still I see algae's time. taking over this one. Your hair algae. I know. I need to. I need it's to. in all your plants. I know. I just. I said. And where'd you get all these snails? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In this one, I, I have to get 
I just have, um, it should just be guppy grass. It doesn't really look like it's all guppy grass now, but I took all that big more, algae looks more like Christmas moss. moss and I just threw it right into the bucket. I was like, <laughs> I'm not dealing with this anymore. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you guys go and get back to your work down here. Okay. And, uh, oh, your your plastic has fallen here. No, I'll get it fixed. All right. You guys take care. See ya. Okay, now what I really wanted to show you guys was this. Okay, all the plants are doing good. Everything's doing good here. Look at the size of them big prune sharks. They're growing so big, so quick. But this... This tank here, it's forgotten about all the time, but look, there's the Perieva. The Brachyplatostoma filamentosum. He is a true Perieva. Beautiful fish. And he's in with fish that ain't eating the streamers, and he's doing great. But let's look a little closer. What do we see? What do we see? The albino gooch. Oh my god, this tank is full of treasures, right? The albino goonch right there. And then, amongst other fish, another treasure. Look at that, our Australian lungfish. He's about, well these two tiles are 24 inches long. He's a little crooked, if he would straighten up, he might touch that. So I'd say he's about 23 inches long. He's getting big, he came in the size of my pinky. As long as my pinky and as wide as my pinky. Oh, look at the color on you. Now that's an azul bass. Unbelievable. Look at your colors. You gotta be the prettiest azul I've ever seen. Wow. But yeah, there's there's some truly beautiful gem of fish in here. And people go, oh, that's just an albino catfish. Yeah. What's this guy back here? There's our giraffe cat. And look, he's got color on him. Usually giraffe cats don't have no blue to him. He's got a blue tint to him. Amazing. And then of course our VATF. Look at his teeth. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. No, don't none. Well, you know, ain't gonna see that. But because this tank is off to the cut, it's off in the side, not many people view the, the specialty fish in here. The red-tailed giant garami. And then even on the way to here to see these fish, there's some things in here. There's haircut, big boy. Oh, you notice the haircut? <laughs> there's Reaper. <laughs> Reaper and Jerry look like the Blues Brothers over there. This guy right here. He's our, our albino Wells cat. And you can see his tail right here. Let me see if I can touch it. Maybe get him out. There's his tail. Come on. Come on out. There he goes. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Oh, look at that big old belly on you. You a big boy, ain't you? Look at him. Albino Chinese wells. <laughs> He's going right back to his house. Yeah, and every one of these pieces of wood is a hidden gem. There's all kinds of plecos in here. Plecos that people want. There's also some albino gymbiceps. Uh, chocolate plecos. But there are some really rare plecos in here too. And what are you doing in here? A dadnoid. Oh, is that the scat? I can't tell until I get done close. That is a dadnoid. Okay. I wish I had my glasses. Let me see what else. There's another albino. What is he? Let's look from the side. Can't tell what he is. Can't see, and the water's too blurry up here. That pleco of some sort. Uh. 
And then, you know, we pass by this all the time. But look, this time I see he's out. There he is. Remember the last couple of times I couldn't find him. He's out and about today. Hi, buddy. <laughs> you know, half the time I'm pointing at a tank. And I'm like, oh, I can't find the fish in there. And here you guys see him off to the corner or something. And I don't see him at all. So you guys are making fun of me, but that's okay. That's okay. Look how big these guys are getting. Just immense. Huge. Oh. And then, uh, let me see here. We're getting ready to take these plants out. Next week, it's going to be up in the 60s. Or actually, in a couple days from now. Oh. So a lot of these are be coming outside and like this thing here it almost died over the winter you see it's got all new sprouts on it come summertime so we're gonna take that out this one out that's all the leaves got left on it it got hit up by uh, mites really bad so and we're gonna take them outside and they're gonna just shoot up uh, on this 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 whole plant here it lost all of its leaves but as soon as I take it outside, it's going to shoot back up. But the rest of the plants are doing great. Look at this. They're all doing good. They made it through the winter, no problem. All these guys here, they're all going right back outside to that river. So, it's just those three plants over there in the end. They, they just have a hard time every year. I don't know. These plants don't do well inside. A couple of them don't. But mostly, uh, they do great outside. <sighs> now it's getting warm enough. We can start working back on the gazebo and getting the roof on it. Oh, look at the koi are out. You can now see there's a whole bunch more than I've been hiding. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So there's at least 31 here that's viewable. All right, Reaper just handed me a pair of polarized glasses, so I'm going to try and put them in front of the camera. There we go. How's that look? There's without, there's with. Can't really see a difference. Let me close in on this. Without, with. Yeah, you can't really see a difference. But over here, there's the paddlefish right here, here, and here. I can see three right there. Four. They're moving around if you watch them. But yeah, it's getting to be summertime where we can we can finish this uh, gazebo up and then start on the furniture and start on the fireplace here and wait for Ed and uh, Greg Woodstock to come by with Aquascape and go from there to this corner and make that a overflow edge, a zero edge, however they want to call it. Yes, very nice, very nice. I love it when it starts getting warm. All these trees are going to start growing back leaves. You won't even be able to see the neighbors over there. It'll just be my little backyard oasis. No one can see us. You know, we don't have to see them. All right, guys. I'm pretty much done with my video. You guys got anything you want to say? Stay fishy, my friend. There you go. Good ending. Good ending. <laughs>